Just like me, you probably love this place, the Hauraki Golf. To me, it's a place to dive, fish, a place to explore, and I love the wildlife. Endangered birds like kākāpō, takahe and kiwi live on our Gulf Islands, and also tuatara, giant weta, and the chevron skink, which is unique to Great Barrier. Now, if we are to ensure that that wildlife is looked after, it's got to be a partnership, and that's where you come in. Together, we can make a difference. Unfortunately, there are some stowaway pests that can cause great damage to the flora and fauna on the offshore islands. Stowaway pests like rats and mice eat the seeds of native plants, small insects and lizards, and even the eggs and babies of native birds. Mice can squeeze through a gap the size of a wedding ring, and a pregnant mouse can carry up to a dozen young. Rats are good swimmers and could swim from your boat to shore. For boaties, fishers and kayakers, please thoroughly check your vessel and where it is stored by looking in, around and under. Keep your boat clean and take a really close look for signs that pests have been using your vessel as their base. Set traps or use bait or insect sprays on your vessel and where it's stored. If you're heading to an island to camp or stay over, before you leave home, please check your camping gear, sleeping bag and pack thoroughly. Make sure that your food is in a airtight and pest-proof container, like a chilli bin or zipped up chilli bag. Argentine ants are another stowaway pest to keep an eye out for. They are one of the world's most invasive species and are widespread in the Auckland region. These aggressive honey brown ants walk in trails of up to five ants wide. They form super colonies and kill native insects, birds and reptiles. You're not expected to know one ant from another, just don't bring any ants with you into the gulf. Australian rainbow skinks are also common in the Auckland region. They look like our native copper skink and compete with them for food and habitat. Young skinks can be as small as a matchstick. Our native skinks prefer natural surroundings, so any stowaway skink is likely to be a rainbow skink. For those of you involved in moving building supplies, plants, soil or landscaping materials from the mainland to the Gulf. You also need to be extra vigilant when checking for pests, especially Argentine ants and rainbow skinks. Look for clusters of small white rainbow skink eggs in potting mix or topsoil. Pot plants should be carefully inspected. Submerging them in water for at least two minutes will help reveal any pests like ants which should float to the surface. Plants and gardening materials harbouring pests must not be transported into the Gulf. Cody dieback disease spreads through soil. Help stop it by making sure your footwear and gear is clean before you leave home. If you're catching a ferry out to the Gulf, make use of the brushes on the wharf. And take a few moments to clean and spray your shoes at Kauri dieback stations before heading into and leaving forest areas. And keep to the tracks. These simple actions will help protect our magnificent Kauri trees. And check your footwear and gear for seeds too, as they can introduce invasive weeds to the islands. And one final message. We all love our pets, but they can damage or kill wildlife. So check the Auckland Council website to see where in the Gulf you can safely take your dog or leave them at home. So enjoy the Gulf, be safe and let's work together to ensure that the totally unique flora and fauna found on these offshore islands is preserved for future generations. Together we can achieve it. For more information check out www treasureislands.co.nz